Hello students. So today we are going to start with lesson 1 of chemistry that is chemical reactions and equations. As we have read in class 9, there are two types of changes of matter that is physical change and chemical change. Physical change is the one in which no new substance is formed. Right? And in chemical change, new substance is formed. Any new substance, like for example, if we keep uh, an iron nail in open, after some time or after a few days, you will observe that it gets rusted. That is, a new substance is formed. Or like uh, in this season, if you keep milk outside, right, that will get sour. That means a new substance is formed which cannot be reversed back, right? Or you keep grapes outside, they get fermented. So that means a chemical reaction has taken place. Whenever a new substance is formed, we say that chemical reaction has taken place. And for a chemical reaction to take place, there are always two things. One is the reactants and the other are the products which are formed after the reaction. Reactants, it can be any, maybe one or more than one. Same way the products can be one or more than one. Reactants are always written on the left hand side and products always on the right hand side. Suppose um, any example we take like carbon, it reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide, right? So when else, here there are two reactants, whenever there are two reactants, more than two reactants, we put a plus sign in between, that is carbon plus oxygen gives a product that is carbon dioxide and to show the reactant and the product, there is an arrow in between. We always put an arrow in between. It is read, read as carbon plus oxygen gives CO2. This arrow will be read as gives. Now, how can we come to know that a reaction has taken place? For that, there are a few observations. Right? So, these observations are first, either there is a change in state, or there's change in color, change uh, in the temperature, or there may be evolution of a gas. Now, how will we come to know about it? Like for the first thing, if we take change in state. Now, if we burn a magnesium ribbon, a strip of magnesium ribbon, you have already done this um, experiment in class 9 also. We take a solid strip of magnesium ribbon, and burn it in the presence of oxygen. We get magnesium oxide which is in the form of ash. Here there is a change of state. We took solid magnesium ribbon which turned into powdered form. Right? So this is the example for the first observation that is change in state. Right? Then if we take um, the second one that is change in color. Now if we take lead nitrate which is white in color and we pour uh, potassium iodide in it which is almost transparent in color, we see a tremendous change in color. This was white, this was transparent, it turns into bright yellow color, just the color of my suit. Right? So it changes into yellow color plus this was all in the liquid form. This turns into a precipitate. Here we say uh, we can say that we see a change in state also, and we see a change in color also. For the third thing, that is evolution of a gas. Suppose we take some zinc granules in a test tube, and we um, pour a few drops of either hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid that is HCl or H2SO4 in it, we will see that just near the zinc granules there are certain bubbles arising, 
right? So effervescence we see. Plus, uh, that, that effervescence actually is of the hydrogen gas. So, there is an evolution of a gas, whether we take HCl or H2SO4. Then, if we just touch the test tube, we will see that it has, uh, it is a little warm now. So, we say that there is a change in temperature also. Some heat is also evolved. Right? So, for these four observations, I've given you four examples. There can be more examples also in this. So, if we observe these four changes, we come to know that a chemical reaction has taken place. This is what we are reading about, chemical reactions. Then the next thing is equations. Now, these are all known as equations. Uh, for example, we took this first one, magnesium plus oxygen gives magnesium oxide. It can also be written as magnesium plus oxygen gives magnesium oxide. Right? This is known as word equation. Now, it is not easy to go on writing word equations every time. It takes time also and this is uh, not considered as a proper way of writing as you are going to the higher class 9. Till class 9, this was okay that you write the word equation. But as you move on to the higher classes, now you will have to write the uh, equation in symbolic form. Right? You will have to write symbol. This makes the, uh, it, it is quick to write, easy to write. Plus, in this equation, you also come to know very easily how many molecules and how many atoms are involved in the reaction. Then this reaction, Mg plus 2, Mg plus O2 gives 2 Mg. Now I have to put 2 here, 2 here. If we write it simply as Mg plus O2, gives MgO. This is known as skeletal equation. Because in this reaction, we see that this is unbalanced. There is a number of atoms on both the sides. That is reactant side and the product side are not the same. It is very important to balance it. Now, why we should balance it and how we can balance a reaction, this I will teach you tomorrow in the next topic. Alright, so for today, you have to revise this, learn this properly, meet you tomorrow.